Hi there, and uh, welcome to this tutorial series on how to make Apple Watch apps. Um, while my original series had a pretty good cover of the basics of WatchKit during its beta and initial release, a lot of those things have um, changed since uh, I made those videos. And uh, a lot of those changes happened at the recent developer conference. These changes include where the actual logic of your app runs. It's now running on the watch instead of on your iPhone. And um, Apple also opened up a lot of new features like access to the microphone, the digital crown, and the accelerometer, as well as new outputs like being able to play video and audio and access the Taptic engine. Another big change from when I made those videos and when I'm making these videos is that we've now seen what you can actually do with the watch. We've seen what Apple themselves and other developers are doing with the watch, how it works, and how we can best take advantage of the features of the watch. Uh, finally, there's some differences between the new tools. As you can see, I'm using Xcode 7 and the tools that the original series was made in. So that's kind of what this new series is for. And in this series, I hope to cover a good proportion of the features of WatchKit so that you can make the best apps possible for the Apple Watch. So some bad news if you've been developing for WatchOS 1 and um, with WatchKit 1, there's quite a few changes as to what you can access. So if you've taken advantage of a lot of iOS frameworks in your app, you might have some problems. And if you're simply sharing core data or whatever with um, app groups, again, you're going to have to make some changes to get the... Um, data to sync between the watch and the iPhone, which are now physically distinct devices as far as your app is concerned. So that's probably about it. Um, in these tutorials, I'm using, as you can see, the first beta of Xcode 7. You should check the App Store if uh, the stable release of this version of Xcode has been released. Um, and if it hasn't, to follow along with what I'm doing, you're going to need a developer account to download the beta. Uh, so with all that said, I'm going to go on to the first video on this series, which is how to create a Apple Watch project or how to add an Apple Watch app to an existing project and how to get started doing some things in the simulator. 